So my name's Michael Marshall. I'm part of the Lattice QCD group at the Higgs Centre for Theoretical Physics. I look at weak nuclear decays and I'm computing some fundamental constants from first principles. I was in my late 40s and I decided to step back my career a little bit, move somewhere nice and uh, I found myself with the possibility of doing a master's. I leapt at the chance to do that and then really had a decision to make. Was I actually going to switch careers or was this just interest? It didn't take me long to make the choice that I wanted to leap, do the PhD. When I was offered the PhD, especially at such a prestigious university, I was absolutely overjoyed. I can't tell you how uh, lucky I feel to be doing that kind of work and to be given the guidance that I'm being given and to be doing it with the people uh, that I'm doing it with. And don't underestimate how emotionally hard it can be feeling like you're going back to the beginning of something and that you're uh, really uh, doing something that you perhaps feel you should have done 20 or 30 years ago. That has an impact. The more I think about it, the more I realise I just have in common with everyone else doing a PhD at any point in their life. Uh, we all suffer from imposter syndrome. Anyone doing a PhD is doing something very, very difficult and that comes with its challenges. We all experience that in our own way. Everyone finds that hard. Luckily, there's brilliant pastoral care during the PhD. There are plenty of courses that help us come to terms with these things. I can't tell you how much happier I am every day to get up and love what I do. Every day I sit down at my desk and I try and work out how the universe works. Like every PhD student, I'm looking at one narrow piece of the puzzle, but it's topical. I just uh, can't tell you how fulfilling it is to, to do something that I've dreamed of for years.